Hi, my name is Al Green, obviously not the singer, but a man who loves, breathes, and dreams design. I'm 39 years old, originally from Lake Jackson, Texas. I've been here in Houston now for 17 years, so now I'm a native Houstonian. I guess you could say I'm a country boy with city ways. I've been passionate about design basically all my life. I can remember as a young boy assisting my mom pick out furniture, as well as staging our home. As well as, make, as well as making little odds and ends around the house to go in various rooms uh, to give it a little wow factor. Uh, I'm the owner of Uniquely You Designs, a design business that I started roughly around 2004. And it was kind of strange how it actually all started. I entered in a patio decorating contest at an apartment complex that I lived in. And even though I didn't win, I put the articles that I made on Craigslist and they actually sold faster than I anticipated. So... I figured I was onto something when that happened, and so that's where the whole vision for Uniquely You Designs came into play. I've been decorating and helping people establish a look that they want in their homes for some time now, without any formal education or anything like that, but I believe that pursuit proves passion. So when I was accepted to the Art Institute of Houston, I knew that my life would be forever changed because by attending the Art Institute, it's cultivating, it's nourishing, and it's fertilizing my passion that I already had for design before I was accepted into the school. I believe every space should be as unique as the individual who occupies the space. And every room that I design, I try to at least incorporate one splurge item. Now that particular splurge item is simply an item that costs significantly more than any other item in the space at times. And for me, my splurge item here was a 62-inch round Temecula mirror. I knew when I seen it, the design orgasm that it gave me, I absolutely had to have it. But when I found it, I was actually designing a home for another client. And when she moved, unfortunately, well, I guess it's fortunate for me. Unfortunately for her, she wasn't able to take it with her. And as you can see, it ended up in my space, and I absolutely love it. Right now, we're in the bedroom, and the reason I'm particularly excited about this particular venture is I love to shop at high-end stores to uh, get a little inspiration and to get an idea of some things that I wouldn't mind using in my space. Now, this particular headboard here uh, was a piece that I saw at High Fashion Homes. It generally retails around $3,000, but I was able to bang it out with my contractor, and uh, now it's a piece in my home, and I absolutely love it. Now, what I'm holding here is my five-year service anniversary award. Uh, by day, I'm a technical support analyst for a computer company, uh, but that, while I'm grateful to be working, that's not really what I enjoy doing. My passion is home interior design. Uh, Steve Jobs, I believe, uh, said that do something you love. Most of us get by by doing things just to get by. I am absolutely ready to start operating and doing my passion to the fullest. When you're renting a space, you're kind of limited as to what you can do. You can't take down light fixtures and put up a chandelier, which is what everybody loves doing these days. Uh, the best way to bring a focal point into your renter space is by adding custom art pieces or any type of art pieces. And the great thing about that is when you move, you can take it with you. Now, I remember watching uh, Design Star, and I've been watching it faithfully for the last seven years, but the most inspiring moment for me is when Kim won. Kim was a person who didn't go to school. Uh, she didn't attend the finest of universities, but it was her love and passion for the de whole design process that afforded her to win the competition and have her own show. And so for me, that was very inspiring. And I believe now is my time to be a contestant on season eight of Design Star. The Bible says that your gift will make room for you and put you in the presence of great men. I cannot wait until I'm standing in front of Genevieve, until I'm standing in front of Candace or Vern. I'm even excited to meet Tamika, who's the host of the show, as well as David Bromstadt. So now I believe it's my time and I'm absolutely ready to walk through this door of opportunity and I look forward to seeing you all. And thanks again for taking out your time and consideration for me to be a contestant on season eight of Design Star. Thank you.